for those of you that don't know how to get a side seam pocket this is your chance so what i'm going to do is i'll get one of the of the one one side of the front dress mm -hmm. so now i'm going to trace out the pocket sorry i'm going to trace out the lining the turnover lining Stop cutting that out. You do this. I'm, what I'm, you do what I'm doing right now. What I do is to place this hair. to get two the two sides of the front two sides of the front parts okay. now hope you can see what I'm doing okay so you place you three place this is the lining now so the, make sure the lining is facing the right side of the dress when you're placing it make sure it's facing the right side of the dress you know make sure it's facing the right side then you get your pin and pin it all over right side of the fabric so what you will do now i'll go to my sewing machine now and i'll sew i'll tuck it in okay so don't mind this by the time i tuck it in you're gonna you're not gonna see all that again so now i'm going to my sewing machine to do that So everything has been stitched. You can see I stitched it and turned it around like I tucked it in. You can see then I now made another stitching on top of it to hold it together. Otherwise, it's gonna be coming up, coming up like this. It's gonna be coming up like that, and it will not be a neat work at the end of the day. So you just have to you know do something. So I held it together. By stitching it same thing with this other side so now what I'm going to do with the remaining fabric of this material of this um okay the remaining fabric this is what I'm going to do right now I'm going to cut out a square a box shape kind of okay so you get an already cut out box box shape you know or square shape kind of shape anyway so what you will now do is this is our fabric this is the front of the fabric the one that has the pocket so what we're gonna do right now is you place this in 
side make, make sure the right side is going under make sure the right side is going under okay I'm just, I'm just seeing what I'm doing So when you do, you just, you know, kind of put your hand inside. So now, okay, let me do it from the back. I'm going to do it from the back because remember our fabric was remaining very little. The leftover of the fabric was remaining very little. So I wasn't able, wasn't able to cut off a big squared shape fabric. So this is what I was able to cut off. So this is the wrong side. This is the wrong side. And this is the wrong side, the back side. Because I already turned this over so you're gonna face make sure the right side is facing the wrong side of this fabric this is how it's going to be this is how it's supposed to be hope you can see what I'm doing okay this is how it's supposed to be so now I'm going to pin down here I'm gonna just leave this up I'm going to lift this up remember this is the box shape I just cut out just now then i i did it this way i make sure the right side is facing the wrong side so that when you turn it over everything will be right side right side so now make sure it's equal with the lining so i'm going to stitch it over you can use your pin to hold it first 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 only the line make sure the stitching doesn't touch the fabric itself so then after holding it with your pin like this like this and like this and then like this then you go to your machine and sew like this this way and all the way down that's it so you're going to repeat the same thing on the other side of the fabric so i'm going to go on now i'm going to go ahead to you know stitch it here here making sure the stitching does not affect the main fabric here 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 but in some cases some people like to stitch everything all together then when you see them wearing it you want to see the line of the stitching the stitched line on the body of the fabric but i don't usually do that this is it this is the back side so i'm going to cut off this remaining pieces this revealing pieces because remember the remaining fabric was remaining very small the leftover fabric was remaining very small so it wasn't enough to cut something that would be equal with this black lining so since it's not equal what we're going to do just cut but you can leave it if you want but i just choose to cut it off so that it will be equal you know so remember i told you when you're stitching you, stitch, you can see i stitched only here only the pockets that's all I stitched, leaving the body of the clothes. So you do the same thing here. So now we'll turn it over. Yeah, so this is the front of our gown okay so this is the pocket you can see that right this is the pocket if you want to dip your hand inside this is the pocket. so what we are going to do now you know, remember we are going to put um details on the dress just a little a minor detail you know so we're going to be using a black fabric so we are going to add fa black fabric a you know long fabric like two inches long to here just the center of the gown all the way down and from here all the way down so we are going to get our black fabric place the black fabric on the material put them together and join them already joined with the slit in the middle now get the back of the dress because we are going to get the zipper allowance remember we removed one and a half inches for the zipper so you place the front of the dress on the back and then measure out the one and a half inches for the zipper and then you sew all the way down 
now the back is completely sewn leaving a small slit now get the front and face it right side with the back then stitch from the shoulder first then then at the side don't forget to remove the two inches we added when we were cutting so the dress has been completely stitched with the zipper put and everything in order with the shoulder joined and all that stuff so thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe thank you bye see you in my next video please don't forget to fold the arm thank you